Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I have saved Princess Tiana forever. <laughs> so we're gonna do her at 30 inches. Um, so with this image, let's just go to height and you see it's already locked up here, right? So when I type in 30 and hit tab, my width is going to change proportionately because I get that question a lot. So um, because the image is locked, you change one dimension, the other dimension gets changed proportionately. So you don't have to calculate what the width needs to be. Okay, so here's Tiana. I'm gonna duplicate her for just a second. And then that duplicate, I'm gonna flatten. And the reason why I'm flattening is because once it gets done, I'll show you why. Um, Tiana is in a lot of pieces and I like to have a flattened copy. Um, so just, it gives me an idea because we start taking it apart. It's hard to remember what she looked like or where things go. So I like to have, this is, um, this is the flattened one and you can tell because this is highlighted on my screen as well as in the right hand side panel. It says cut and print, right? So do you see how many pieces Tiana is in? So if I just doubled, like if I made a duplicate copy but didn't flatten, I would have double of these pieces and it's kind of hard to tell which goes with which image. So it's just easier if you need a visual cue. Um, I like to flatten it. All right, so just a tip there. Now, Tiana, she has black hair. So my characters that have black hair, Snow White, uh, Jasmine, Mickey Mouse, and now Tiana. Um, I like to do the black hair in glitter cardstock because it helps me hide the seams. So what we wanna do is, we're, let's work on the hair right now first. What we wanna do is basically wanna slice out all the colors from the black image, right? So if you scroll down over here on the right, what we have at the very end is Tiana, the, the image, the whole black background, right? I want to slice out every single color from here so that I can see where the hair starts and ends. And that way it can I can then know where to break it up so that I can isolate the hair all by itself. I know that was so much talking right there. Let's just try to work on it and I think you'll, you'll begin to see. All right, so the easiest one to do is, um, and close to her hair, is her skin color, her face, right? So let's grab over here, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this so you can see it, okay. So here's her skin, right? I'm gonna grab that, hit the shift key, I'm gonna grab the black background so that becomes highlighted, and I'm gonna slice. Remember when you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So I slice the black background and her skin. Now I'm gonna remove that. Okay, so, so weird that there's double of her skin. I don't even understand this image. Why is there another? I'm so confused. <laughs> Um, okay. We don't need any of this. I'm confused right now because it, oh, it just took a second for the skin to disappear. Okay, that was so odd. Um, all right, so let's look at this to see if I can isolate the hair, and I can, because I can see this is her hair. I mean, I know it has this thing in it, but I'm not worried about that. We have, um, oh, I guess, No, I'm not gonna use it. This will give me, so see, I can isolate, I can cause a break right here, and that will give me all this hair, all the way around over here. I need to cause a break at the ear right here, and then a break right here, right here, and right here, and here. <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And this will look so much easier for you once we get started. So let's bring in um, a circle just because, okay. And I'll just make a couple copies, okay? Because we're gonna be slicing quite a bit. Right now we can't isolate this hair because when, we, when I go to contour, um, I'll click here to get to 100. See, this is the hair that I want, right? But it's connected to everything. So if I get, if I say I want the hair or I don't want the hair, you see how it's connected to all this stuff? We need to cause breaks in this image. Oops, let me go back to contact.
contour. I'm going to click show all. Okay. So now let's cause some breaks here. Okay. So right here, I'm going to zoom in just so that we could see it a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to put this right around here and that will cause a break. So that will isolate this hair right here. So I'm going to grab these two items and slice. Okay. And then let's go over here. I can even use the same piece. I'm going to cause a break right here. Okay. And I'd rather get close to it and then just take my scissors and trim it if I don't like the way it looks at the end. Okay. So grab these two items and slice and then I'm just going to move her over it's a little bit easier and then all of this I will delete oops Ugh, it's too close to my image okay here we go okay so now she's back so do you see how when we slice this out, now this hair is isolated. It's all the way around. We're almost there. We got rid of the ear, right? So this piece ends here. So it's, we just need to cause a break here, 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 and here. Then the hair will be one piece. Okay. So let's go and grab our circle here and let's unlock this shape and make it a little bit thinner so I can get in in that dip right here. Let me grab this circle. Okay, here we go. So grab my little piece. I'm gonna stick it in here, right around there, okay? I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. So see now my hair is starting to be isolated, right? I only have a little bit more over here to do before I'll have my hair all by itself. So that's pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> I can actually use this piece. That's a little nice thin piece. Okay. Um, so what do I need? I need to slice it right here. So, or right here too. So right there, I'm going to take my hair and that little piece and slice it and I'll move this over right now move it over a little bit more I'll get rid of this okay so I'll bring her back so now you see the hair is this little piece all the way around and now I have this piece here it's almost all it's almost all separated right but this piece this right here connects it to everything else. So I definitely need to break that. So I'm going to cause a break by bringing in my circle right around there. And then I'm going to grab my image and my circle and slice. So let me zoom out. That will make it easier. So now I can get rid of this. And do you see my hair has a break here and here? So now, actually, if I just go, let's go to contour so you can see quickly what I mean. So when you go to contour, what's nice is you can just say hide all and it's going to leave me this top piece, which is this. I don't want this. I actually want the hair, right? But then you can just say I don't want this. So now my hair is isolated. Um, I still have, was there another piece I needed to slice up? So, okay, so this is this is when the visual cue is, is good. <laughs> so we have this little piece, it goes all the way around, we're good. There's a the little tendril. I guess this can be sliced a little bit, but you can take your scissors and cut that and trim that and then the hair, yeah. So here's our hair. Our hair is 12.7 across by 19. So we do need to work on this. We need to slice it somehow. Um, I feel like, okay. C 
see if we sliced it right here. Let me think about this. So slicing it kind of right around here is good because you're gonna have the lilies and stuff hiding the seams right here. The only problem is this part is still kind of long. Okay, so let's just slice across right here where this is gonna be. So we can actually, is this 30 inches? Yeah, so this is the exact same size. So if we put this on here and we sliced it right around here, we know there's gonna be a lot of stuff covering that, okay? So let's bring in a square and let's make this square really big. Okay, and let's slice her hair right around, right around here. Okay, so we'll grab the two things, slice. So you get rid of that, get rid of this. So her hair is gonna be most likely in three pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. So now this, <laughs> I'm losing my, um, all right. This is now 9.1 by 5.7, so we can cut it on the Cricut, right? This piece is gonna be a little, just a little bit too long. Um, so it's gonna be like this, but a lot of it is covered. I'm wondering where to slice this best. I guess if we, I guess we could just slice it right there. Um, I'm not excited about this. Let me undo it for a second. Um, I'm trying to think where best to slice this. With it being black glitter cardstock, it is gonna hide the seams quite a bit already. I was just trying to hide it like even more. I feel like if we slice it here, this piece isn't that wide to begin with. So let's do that. Um, we can use this. We can unlock it. Just make it like that. Okay, so we'll slice it right there. And now, so her hair will be in three pieces, but like I said, with the black glitter cardstock, it's gonna hide it really well. So now this piece is 4.2 by 10.2, so we can cut that on the Cricut, right? This is 12.4 by seven, but we can cut that just by shifting it over a little bit like that. So that becomes 10, oh, a little bit more, let's see. There, that's now 10 inches by 11. Isn't that funny? It's the same piece, but when you rotate it, what happens is, and I'm gonna undo this for a second. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. So the way design space measures distance is the most far left to the most far right. So it's going to from this, from here to here, that's 12.5. So if I rotate this, and I'm gonna rotate both of these at the same time, because I kind of want, oh, I don't think it matters. Okay, so sorry, I'm talking to myself. All right, I'm gonna rotate this, and now my distance from left to right is from here to here, so it's only 10 inches, and from here to here it's 11.4, so now it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, okay? All right, so we've got the hair. The hair is gonna look fabulous. Um, let's get rid of everything else. Okay, let's bring her in again. Now we gotta deal with everything else. So we've got the hair. <laughs> let's make it 30 inches. And this is another reason why I like to size it precisely because then it's easy to bring in pieces and work, work your way around it, okay? So now I can just go in here, type in 30. And then here she is, proportionate with my hair. All right, so let's ungroup this. Now with Tiana, let's see. Let's look at her gloves. So I'm gonna ungroup it. Design space is slow. Okay, 
here we go. All right, so this glove, same thing with this glove, right? It's one piece. It's five inches by 13.2. So normally I would have sliced it, right? But we have room to play with here. If I move this, now my height, it's nine inches wide, but it's 11.9, so I'm getting closer. So if I rotate this a little bit more, 11.3 by 9.7. I don't need to slice it at all. Okay, so here's her glove. That one's all good. We'll just move it to the side. Let's see, what do we have here? Um, so uh, her pearls are in a lot of pieces. Okay, let's look at this arm. So this arm right here is 17.5 by 8.3. So it's definitely too long. Um, and there's not that much I can do about it. So I feel like the best thing is to kind of slice it right here. But see how she has um, a necklace? I wanna put an, a bracelet right here to hide the seams. So let's make a deliberate cut. So see how her necklace, there's a break between her neck and her um, chest area. We're gonna do that here as well as if a bracelet was always supposed to be there, okay? So the easiest way to do this is let's go to our text. If you don't have I Love Glitter, you should download it. <laughs> it's from Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. It's a free font. Click I Love Glitter. What you want is you want the, um, the square bracket, so to the right of the letter P, okay? This will give you this awesome, where is it? Just put it in but so here it is where are you okay it's super small it gives you this like nice little curved piece that I feel like is really helpful in slicing when you need something with a little bit of a bend okay so I'm gonna take this and I kind of want it the same width like the thickness of the of the glyph to kind of match the the thickness of all these other cuts okay so I feel like it's a little bit thinner all right that looks about good so now I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna slice I'm gonna do the bracelet right around there and then I'm just gonna duplicate these little guys and put them here okay so let's do this let's take this glyph right hit the shift key let's get this glove and slice and I'm going to show you what that looks like so we'll get rid of that so it's not like a straight cut right I feel like that looks a little bit more I mean it is kind of straight but it wouldn't be this straight like it would if it was a um a square that we were using okay so we can get rid of this so now my glove is in two pieces right um and I'm going to duplicate these these little guys so that you can see what it looks like I'm gonna grab them here and I think we only need I'm gonna, oh hold on my face is in the way I'm gonna grab these guys right here um, and I'm just gonna do three why is it not letting me grab these okay So I grab three right here, okay, I'm gonna duplicate it because I still need them up here. That's part of my necklace. Where did it go? Okay, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in because I know these pieces are so small. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these little guys right here. And of course you can change the direction of the stones, but this is just for us to see right now. And I think even three is too many. I kind of want, let's see, oops. I'm gonna undo it. Um, all right. I mean, you can, once you cut this, we can apply it any way we want to, but this is what I want. So 
So you want a little bracelet right there. I think it looks pretty good once you put it on and it's gonna be, I, I know what color I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a pale green, or actually this is, yeah, a pale green I think I'm gonna use right there. Um, or would I use it for this one in a darker green? But I'm gonna use glitter cardstock and it's gonna be shimmery. It's gonna look like it's her bracelet and you're not gonna notice that little slit right there. All right, so let's take out the, this arm now. Now this arm is in two pieces, so just duplicate it. And then we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna separate it by using the contour. So here, I'm gonna get rid of this arm. So that's gonna leave here. This is eight inches by two and a half, so perfect. This piece, contour. And now I'm gonna get rid of that. That's gonna leave my elbow-ish. 9.7 by 7.5 it's gonna look great now the only thing is do you see how her finger up here is a separate piece if you don't want it to be a separate piece and you don't want to deal with one more thing what i would do is i would grab that little piece let me see if it'll let me grab it where is it i think it's this piece yep Okay, I would either unlock it and stretch it out a bit so that it touches. Then I'm gonna hit my shift key and I'm gonna grab this glove and I'm gonna weld it. So now instead of it being in two pieces, it's in one piece and it looks like that. I honestly, at 30 inches, I don't think you're gonna notice that that should have been two pieces but it's just one less piece for you to have to worry about. So there's her glove. Let's look at this little lily pad thing. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love these pieces. Um, okay, this is good as well. I mean, those little dots, they go in the necklace. It is what it is. Um, this can be ungrouped, so you don't even need to do anything. Perfect. Um, this can be ungrouped as well. All right, so we're almost, we're getting through it. Okay, I'll, um, I feel like these are big, big enough pieces that I would keep separated, but if you didn't want to, I would weld it, like maybe put a little piece right here. And so it still has this little cut line in it, but it's, if it's attached right here, it's one piece instead of two, but that's totally up to you. Um, okay. So here's her skin and this you can't ungroup. It's one piece. So we're going to need to work on it. Let's zoom in for a second, see what we have. Okay, so these are all pretty big pieces. So I'm good with that. So let's, um, let's contour. So her face is one piece, two, three, four, five. It's basically five pieces. So when you use contour and you wanna separate five pieces, then you need five copies. So let's make our duplicates. There's two, three, four, and five. Then you wanna take the first ones highlighted, go to contour at the bottom right, and we are going to see what we have here. Let's see. Um, let's hide all. So it leaves us the face, but I want all that stuff in there. So actually, let's do this part. Let's do that. Um, Deselect the face. So we have this piece isolated by itself. Okay, and it's 9.6 by 6.2, so we can cut it on the Cricut. So let's go to the next one, contour. And let's hide all again. And let's get this little piece over here. I want that piece, I don't want the face. So this little piece over here. Let's go get the neck, contour. Click here in the, um, in the numbers, it'll get you to 100%. All right, hide all. I want the neck, I don't want the face. So here's my neck. Let's get the ear. And then we have just the ear and the face. So hide all. 
I want the ear. Now with the ear, it's two pieces, so we gotta get both. And then I don't want the face. So here's my ear. And then now let's get the face. So let's go to contour. Um, click on 100%. Okay, so let's delete. Say we don't want. Oops, hold on. Show all. We don't want this, 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 or that. We want the face. Oops. Okay, so what's left is the face. Ah, I deleted, okay. I wasn't, that's what was wrong. I need to eat dinner. <laughs> I contoured a piece that we already contoured. So what is missing? I think the last thing missing is the ear. So we need to do this one and get the ear. So go to contour, <laughs> hide all. I'm sorry, I knew it was weird. Hit 100%, hide all. We want the ear, we want the inside of the ear. We don't want the face. Okay, now we have all our pieces. Now, because she's 30 inches, I also want a duplicate copy of the face because if there are any seams running down the eyes or the mouth, what we want to be able to do is we're going to um, contour and we're actually going to hide all. And see how it, um, because the mouth was enclosed and the nostrils and then this little dimple, it all um, closed out, right? But not the eye because the eye has an opening. So the way we're gonna go around that is we're gonna go to shapes, get a circle, and we're going to do the opposite of what we wanted with the hair. Because with the hair we were causing breaks, now we want to close in all our holes. So if I did something like this, this looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna weld. And it left just this opening, right? But that's easy. We just go to contour and we hide that little piece. So now I have this completely covered piece, right? I'm gonna change it to black. It's gonna match my background. And then it's gonna go behind her face. So arrange, send to the back. So if I had any seams running down the eyes, now I won't because then I'm gonna put on the lips and the eyes and it's gonna, her face is gonna be seamless because this big background is gonna be, is gonna be cut into many pieces because it's 30 inches, so you're gonna have seams. All right, so that's the way to hide the seams in the face. Let's see, what do we have left? Okay, um, so all these little pieces, you can move over, it's a lot of pieces. This is gonna be up to you. Do you see how they're like, like this piece is one big piece, right? This, this lily pad part of her crown. If you don't like all these cuts, I would weld them together so that they're less pieces. So for instance, let me move her out of the way. You see how these two are so close? I would, I would make it one. I wouldn't make it all together one, but I would make each one of these leaves or whatever one piece instead of like this one leaf is three pieces. So you could do something like this and go in and grab those pieces and weld. So you can have a piece like that. You can weld it better if you want to. But you see, instead of three pieces, it's now one. I would do that with these two pieces right here and maybe these three pieces right here. So you just wanna cut down on the pieces as much as you can. Okay, so these are all good. Her eyes and her mouth, everything is good. You're basically gonna have a seamless piece right here because the only seams that you have in the colored pieces is her brace or where her wrist is and we're going to put a bracelet there so it's going to look really really good and then her hair 
let's go over here. I so let's see her hair. Let's go and look at color sync for a second. You want to separate out the black outline from her hair because her hair is going to be black glitter cardstock. So when you go to make this, let's go back to layers and I'm going to zoom out for a second. You almost want to change her hair, even though you're going to use black glitter cardstock, change her hair to gray so that when you see the color gray, you know, it's black glitter cardstock. So I'm going to grab it right here and I'm going to change it to gray because everything else that's black, you're going to want black, right? Your black background, the black behind the face. Okay. All right. So now we are almost done. We only need to slice up the background and then we're done. <laughs> okay. So let me go back up for a second. We no longer need this visual cue. So let's delete that. Okay. So what we need is a square. We're now going to build our grid where we're going to slice her up because she's 20 inches by 18 and 30 inches by 18 inches. And obviously we can't cut her on the Cricut. So we need to slice her up into small pieces or small, big pieces, as big as we can get and then piece her back together. So this first square, let's go and change it to 11 inches. Technically you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. So I'm just going to do, 11 and in this case you needed two rows no matter what because she is 18 inches across so one square at 11 and a half you still need another square at 11 and a half so if you need two you might as well do 11 plus 11 is 22 which is still covers <laughs> okay so this first one let's go to our position feature just round to the nearest whole number so 40.22 becomes 40 57.667 becomes 58 and the reason why we do that is we're basically saying for our X coordinate, go over 40, go down to 58. And here's our first start of the square. Put this one close by. Then you don't need to do the math. You can just round again. 51.22 becomes 51. 57.9 becomes 58. Okay. So we have two perfectly flush squares. You're going to grab the two and duplicate. Then you just got to make this set flush with the top set. So if you put it close, 39.9 becomes 40, 69.22 becomes 69. We're almost there. Duplicate that again. It's our last set. We're going to put it down here and round. 39.9 becomes 40, 80.44 becomes 80. We have six perfectly flush squares. Now we're going to grab her. Arrange, send to the front, and we're going to put her over our grid because we're going to slice her up. So let's zoom in though because we want to see what we're slicing. Okay, so this right now looks really good, the top two squares, because it's going to slice down right here and right here. I'm going to have one big piece here and one big piece here. What you don't want is something like this, and that's because this little tendril will be separated. It's small. You got to keep track of it. Then you got to tape it back up. It's annoying. <laughs> so you just want to make sure you, like this looks good to me right here. This doesn't look good to me right here because this little piece will be out by itself. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. Okay. So that looks good. So this is a big piece. That's a big piece. This all looks good. Let's zoom back out. We're going to slice. So again, one square and one and the black image at a time. So I'm going to start here, grab the two items, slice, grab these two, slice the middle one, slice. You just want to make sure it's what your arrow, your cursor is picking up. So right here, I could do this and that would be fine. I don't need to go all the way to the edge and all the way here to grab the two items because what happens is sometimes you might grab a third item like that. Then slicing will be grayed out. So slicing, you can only do two items. There's my two items, slice. 
Just one more square and then we're done. All right, grab those two, slice. Okay, so let's just rearrange her. I always do this because I wanna, um, when I pull it off the mat, it's just easier to see like, oh, I have this piece. I know this is the top side because sometimes I'll flip it over and then it gets confusing. Tiana is only six pieces, so it's not a, not a big deal, but still, it's just nice to not think about it. All right, so these are all great big pieces. So easy to handle. Grab all of this stuff and delete. And then let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what it looks like. And I'll talk you through this. Okay, so this hair, if you remember, is glitter cardstock, right? And we needed to kind of like twist it a little bit. Hold on. Oh, why aren't you letting me? Okay, so twist it and then see that gets it into, um, you can cut it on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, these two pieces are good. I wonder if you can even move this up here. Yeah, you can move that there. This piece, move it over here so that you can save your scraps for next time. So this is your black glitter cardstock. This is her hair. Then these are the eyes and the teeth. And you know you can always move these things and make it more efficient. And then also depending on the scraps that you have, if you have it straight down, you can do something like this. Okay, here's her black background. So we have that piece, that piece. This is her face. Um, I think we can move this piece, right? So you can click on it, click on the three dots, move object, and you can place it on another mat that has space. I feel like this one has plenty of space. And just make sure you move it. Oh man, here, hold on. It's close. I'm going to turn this around though. There, you see, now you have space. You just need to make sure it's all there. Okay. Um, the other thing with Tiana is there was this. They added these extra little things in there in her hair, which I don't think would even be noticeable. I would not even cut this. I would either delete it from the previous page or just skip over this map. Okay, so here's her face, her skin color. Um, I don't think this can fit on the other page, so this has to be like this. Here is the eyes. Okay. Um, okay, let's rearrange this a little bit more so it's a little bit more efficient. Maybe like this. Then I'm gonna move all these guys down. These are in her hair, because we need to move, this hand fits, if you remember, but we needed to rotate it. Okay, so now that fits. We gotta make sure that nothing overlaps, because it will cut into each other. So now we're going to just move this. Now, if you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, I highly recommend you buying it because I buy it um, in bulk when it's on sale and it's the best deal. And I use it to cut everything because it's really sticky when you first get it. So, you know, you use it for like really sticky stuff. After you've cut a few times, it becomes less sticky. I use it for my cardstock. So there's, you can, you can use, I only use green, the green mat, just so you know. Okay, so I would put two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock here. If you don't have two, a 12 by 24 mat, just pretend this is a 12 by 24 mat, but all these pieces move to a brand new mat. So you would click on this, click on the three dots, move object, and just make a new one. Um, and this is of the same color, I think it's this color. 
Okay, so if you move everything to that mat, then, and you only have, it's only gonna cut up here. It doesn't matter whether you have a 12 by 12 mat or a 12 by 24 mat, all right? So I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's look at this dark green. This dark green can definitely be a little bit more efficient. I mean, you can even move it some more. I really don't like the way it is, but at least that leaves you this much space for next time if you're saving the scraps. All right, there's her lips. There's her arm. All right. Oh, that was a, I felt like that was a lot of work. Um, all right. I please tag me on your, on your finished product. I think it's going to look amazing. She's going to be flawless. Um, between the black glitter cardstock for the hair and then her bracelet, she's going to look like she has no seams for 30 inches and 30 inches is sizable i'm trying to think in the back which one is 30 inches um the sugar skull one is 30 inches as well as the lol doll so it's sizable let me just walk back there so you can see next to me it's a sizable piece and that's me as an adult so if you think about you know a five-year-old it's gonna look amazing all right so post your comments and questions i'm here um, and if you have a special request, it's Anne at the uselesscrafter.com. So it's A-N at the uselesscrafter.com. But post your comments here first and then send me an email with your special request. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.